wanted to do a ah, got my finger in the way. I tried to do this on my phone. A like homeschool update. Just um, not yet. At snack time. No, at snack time. Nope, kitchen's closed. So, just to kind of like go over what we've been doing and how it's been working and all that. And it's been going really well so far. We are, we took last week off just because we got so busy last week. So, and that was probably what, our fourth week, fifth week of homeschooling? I don't even, I don't keep track. It's just if we have a busy week, I take the week off. And we have been crazy busy. So, uh, let's see. Mia's been doing really good in her third grade stuff. We went ahead and dropped Matthew C. And because that was just getting boring for her and for me. <laughs> so, we uh, just dropped the, the last couple lessons and started on the, what is it called? Living education. Math, math lessons for a living education level two and we're really liking that so far it's kind of a mixture of math copy work all kinds of, kind of geography I mean it's pretty it's pretty awesome so far so we are enjoying that and let's see the other stuff we're really enjoying brave rider and we're on, on our last week of Sarah plain and tall with brave rider so we're gonna keep going with that because that's Really helpful and it's fun and she likes doing the she likes copy work she likes handwriting so that's not a big issue of getting her to do her um, her writing and stuff and let's see what else do we got spelling mm, I don't worry too much about spelling I mean if we can get to it that week we get to it but sometimes I forget all about spelling <laughs> and but like last week well, no, last week we didn't do school, but we have been doing it. It's just sometimes I forget to finish the week out with spelling and forget to do a spelling test on Wednesday, on Fridays. So then we have to like backtrack. I need to get better with doing that. And what else? Hmm. All about reading. I'm just, I'm so like done with all about reading but we're gonna finish this level two we're only in like lesson 26 out of a bajillion I mean there's so many lessons for that but we're just gonna finish out I'm sorry I'm shaking so much Ooh. okay what else are we doing um, handicrafts have been kind of like on the back burner which I hate but I really that's just the last thing that we get to and I really need to make it a priority rather than making it a like an elective or or something like that because I really I really like it and I like she likes to be busy with her hands but I just have to like do it I don't know how to sew I don't know how to knit I don't know I don't know any of those nice skills that you should know but so it's kind of hard when you don't know it yourself and how to teach it uh, but we try every once in a while uh, I did buy this like first my first sewing or first stitch or cross stitch thing that I had to, I had to start it so I could teach her how to do it so um, hopefully today we're gonna get to that but everything else has just kind of been on the back burner and uh, what else? science has been fine or nature studies has been going just fine regular and history I have been enjoying the Ambleside child's history of the world and um, I think this week, yeah, this week we started uh, this country of ours. So we're talking about Vikings this week. And I'm enjoying, I like Vikings and I like American history. So I'm excited to kind of start in that direction. Um, but mostly we're just doing medi medium, uh, blah, 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 medieval. And, hmm, yeah, so that's pretty much it for third grade. And uh, for Kenzie in kindergarten, she's getting there. She's starting to read. She's starting to learn how to sound out things. We're still doing the 100 easy lessons. I can I cannot remember what it's called to save my life. How to teach your kid to read, child to read in 100 easy lessons. And it's going a little bit faster than it has been. It has, uh, you, she's doing the primer for Matthew C. That's kind of getting boring for her because I mean it's really, really easy. And yeah, it's that. 
yeah so we also do good and beautiful and she's really been liking um like dictation like i ask her to spell out it and i'm like sorry let's separate the sounds it she she likes doing that and writing the i and the t so she likes figuring it out and doing that so that's been pretty fun which i wasn't really going to start that with her because it seems like a seven-year-old thing and yeah so she's she likes it i'm just gonna keep going with it and i'm not gonna try to slow her down and uh let's see yeah she's not hasn't been struggling she went through like like a week or two of just like for completely forgetting our apcs and the sounds so we had to backtrack for those that week and go over our apcs and what they look like and our sounds which leapfrog helps with that leapfrog um letter factory and phonics the stuff on netflix too we have the we have the dvd for letter factory and the netflix ones mm -hmm. and yeah so that's been going great so she's really having no problem no one's really having any, any issues or struggling right mia you're not really struggling with anything yeah. what what put, put the camera down are you struggling with anything? Mm, no. No? Yeah. Not really. And then Marley is doing her preschool thing. Um, she has been, I've realized that her preschool, I've been kind of like lacking and not really doing much with her. So I'm like, really, she should know her ABCs. But like, it's not gonna hurt her to learn her ABCs. So uh, yeah, she's gonna be turning four soon. So, and all my other kids, Yet and Mackenzie knew their ABCs. And a lot of their letter sounds by the time we were four. And she's smart enough. I mean, she's not a slow learner. So she is just, just got to take the time to do it and work with her on it. So today we really started, like, I sat with her one on one and really worked on that and going through our ABCs and writing her name. You know, Kinsey and Mia knew how to write their name by the time they were four. <laughs> so, and Marley can barely write her M for Marley. <laughs> Poor third child. Um, so we were working on that. And other than that, it's been going good. Is there anything all right, is there anything you wish we could would do more of? More handwriting. And you like handwriting. <laughs> um, anything else you wanna learn this year? I'll learn about China. China? You always say China every year. We've learned about China. I don't, I don't know what more you want to learn about China. You can research it just like we um, today we started geography, so we started to do we started to do um, Arizona, and I we put up the laptop and some Arizona books, and I showed her how to research and how to type in questions and find out answers and yep and how to type so proper technique with typing. We started a little bit on that. Did you, do you like that, didn't you? Yeah, I like typing and all that, and I want to learn about Ohio. Ohio. Okay, how about Virginia? We're, we're, we're learning about Virginia today. We learned about Arizona today. Hmm, someone wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but the, the Vikings. The Vikings. Here. That's in America. Huh? We went, they didn't land in Virginia. Oh. Virginia is our state that we're living in. You know that. I hope. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so, um, yeah, apparently we got some more work to do <laughs> with geography, but <laughs> we need to work on that. Uh, yeah, so, well, yeah. yeah, that's about it. Doing good. Oh, mom. Yeah. Tell you about what? What? You should tell him. Something fell out? Yeah. Hey, what she didn't want to say on the camera, but she said it was fine to say, um, she wants to get a pen pal. So if you or um, anybody you know wants to do a pen pal with, a, has an eight-year-old girl? Girl? Yeah. Eight-year-old girl um, that doesn't live in Virginia. Um, Ooh, maybe. Well, maybe, yeah. And she, she just wants to write letters to somebody, so. No, um, no one writes a letter to me. Yep, yeah, she keeps writing letters to other people kids and parents, grandparents and stuff, and nobody writes a letter back to her. <laughs> so if you want to do a pen pal, just let me know in the comments and I don't know, figure it out.